class of validation assignments done by George Foley, Potter Gillis, and Ryan O'Reilly. This is the acquisition power tool that was used to identify possible variables in boiling an egg. The first variable was volume, this is volume and size in this pot of water. Temperature, this is upper, con upper control limit of 100 degrees and 98 degrees is the lower control limit. Time is a big factor in the outcome of boiling an egg. Egg size, uh, small, medium, large. Pot size, how big the pot influences the volume of water. In effect, we developed an SOP here. Established the score, developed the procedure, identify the variables, incorporate uh, the variables into the SOP. Uh, an SOP helps to standardize the procedure. Process map of the old process. So we had it, you can see, just start, fill pot, heat pot, insert egg, heat egg. Then you had the question, is the egg boiled? Yes or no, come back. Now the problems with there is there's no uh, critical quality characteristics and there's no actual uh, CTP. So what we've actually introduced is a swim name map, so we look at three aspects. So preparing the egg, boiling the egg, and then is the egg actually cooking the egg. The process qualification is the actual aspect that's going to make sure the process design is correct. Then we can use this for process verification. So we've used here with the statistical tools, X bar, O bar, and CDK. X bar will measure the actual difference between the average, O bar will measure the variation in the range, and CDK will prove the process is capable of meeting its targets. To verify this process, we developed an SOP, experimentally done the procedure, then reached our desired CPK. You will now see the process being carried out. This is all the equipment you need to complete this experiment. As you can see, the CTQs will be defined by the measuring tools used. The circumference of the egg will be measured to actually determine how large the egg is and how small. The actual water quantity will be determined by the jug, which is used in the pot that's about 16 centimeters by uh, 9 centimeters. So overall, you just need to cover two thirds of the egg. The chart shown in the top right corner will actually measure how well the egg is cooked. So we'll determine how soft it is now hard. Now when the egg has actually reached its boiling point roughly in between 7 minutes and 50 seconds to about 9 minutes you can take it out and put it into the actual egg cup to crack. Be careful it's actually very hot. So gently just take it out, place it in the cup and uh, then you can crack the egg. Now with the CTQ met after seven and a half seconds, the actual soft boiled egg is very runny. Does it meet our critical requirements? Check it. So the CTQ is from one to three, and we've reached about one. With all the eggs completed following the CTQs and the CPP, you can now say that we've actually completed the process and the process should be validated after this. Every egg is soft boiled. If not, it's close to runny, but it's within the CTQ, so it is acceptable for the process. All eggs do not go above three, stay within the line of one and two.